Uh, thank you again, and we will continue with uh, Frédéric Santi, who will, who will speak about the trees' diversity in uh, such a system. So you have the floor, Frédéric, and to present uh, uh, your, your slides. Hello, but uh, I don't have the slides. It's you. Yeah. Okay. So uh, today I will present you uh, two uh, means uh, to have uh, better forestry trees uh, for agroforestry lines. Uh, the problem now is there are few available French angiosperm forestry varieties to plant on agroforestry lines. Generally, seeds of most species are collected in forests without much knowledge about them. Very few are of the best categories we said qualified or tested. Um, for example, we have hybrids in populus, castania, juglans, humus, platanus, and if we come up uh, on some periods coming from Spain, potentially. Uh, also, clonal species without uh, hybrids are in a Prunusavian populus, and we can even say uh, it's possible to use horticultural varieties. For seed of plants, uh, we have only juglans on Prunosavium. But we have some conservation oriented seed orchards, Mali Silvestris, and Sorbus domestica. So, how could we increase the number of good varieties? The first question. And meanwhile, because the, the first uh, point takes time, how to improve the quality of the trees? Um, the, the goal is to collect in resources for numerous forestry species. At first, I worked only on uh, Prunosavium, but it takes a lot of time. So the goal is to, uh, uh, to get two seed orchards for each yet non bred species. And uh, the, um, uh, the goal is to use uh, only low cost strategy without selecting forest graftings or cuttings because it's uh, very uh, expensive and we can uh, not do that uh, so much so the, so the the strategy is to select each year the very best plants in conventional nurseries then direct plantation of them in one test and after several years second stage selection. The research is based on the collaboration between INRA, the manpower for selection, and forestry nurseries, who provide plants on manpower for, for plantations, and of course, who manage the, the plantations. The re result test will be at least collections of plant material and at best cytokines. The first one is uh, one selected plant out of uh, 50 to uh, more, narrow, more numerous uh, plants in uh, nurseries. It's, uh, there is a, a great variation. They are planted in, plant, in plots of four or eight selected plants uh, with addition of four or eight standards coming from the same uh, places. Uh, you have in color the several plans, plots, each uh, with the example of only four plus uh, four plans. In phase two, in uh, each plot, only one uh, selected plant is uh, left out of the four or eight initially selected. Then the standards and selected are compared, only uh, on the standards are all eliminated. Uh, from uh, where well, for during several years, two, three, four, six, oh, already seven, year, <laughs> seven years, uh, we have uh, established uh, 23 tests 
and uh, some of them are already uh, finished. And uh, next, uh, next year, we will uh, finish uh, six more. But the problem is uh, there are always new species to begin. The perspectives, in some cases, we have uh, cleared and replaced plots. Uh, we have measured aids uh, in all those plots and generally selected are uh, better than standards. So the, the process is, uh, is going uh, good. For several species, uh, we plan genetic testing with microsatellite markers to detect individuals for the, of the same families to avoid consanguinity while thinning. And uh, for the new species added each year, in the future, we have uh, to uh, concentrate per, uh, for species, uh, not uh, non-native species. In uh, the, we I illustrate uh, some of the plot. Uh, for example, uh, for example, um, uh, in um, Castanea sativa, and uh, Carpinus betula, uh, Acer pseudoplatanus. In uh, in red, we can even uh, uh, see that some uh, trees uh, will be uh, probably those who will be uh, selected at the end. And uh, if you uh, compare the mean of uh, standards T and the uh, selected C, you see, uh, so the selected uh, trees are, are, are good, are better than tested trees. So the, the other way to uh, improve the quality is to encourage thinning. The average planting density is usually one tree for each uh, eight to 12 meters in uh, uh, agroforestry sequence. The densification is directly uh, tested in agroforestry lines. And Sandra uh, sh showed you an example in Inra uh, Lusignan. So the tree are yet too young for an estimation of differences between densified and simple plantations. So um, what I used is simulation uh, to show the, to show uh, the possible uh, economic gains and thus to encourage uh, farmers to uh, densify. The possible use uh, is uh, has been focused on my old uh, cherry genetic, uh, genetic test. The initial gathering of the white cherry collection resulted in numerous clonal tests. Some of them are, are there on the on the map. The gross we have gross measure, measures from uh, zero to more than uh, 15 years after plantation. Well, excuse me for the point. For example, this is Bergerac. You have the view, and uh, this is uh, the well. You can see the differences between some of them. You have some who go very well here uh, from uh, so the color illustrate uh, uh, here the large uh, height uh, obtained in Avrancourt, and here the low uh, height obtained in Basin. And you have uh, plot the plot the each uh, trees have, uh, grow in growth also. So the, each uh, point is large or is very uh, thin. So what uh, was the simulation method? These uh, trees uh, were grouped in continuous uh, couples or trios. We simulate the choice of the better of each group on the basis of roughly five-year-old diameters. And that will be the densified reference. And then we, uh, we uh, execute uh, the sampling of one tree inside each group. And that is that, uh, that uh, result in simulation of undensified plantation. 
and we compare the 15 year old growth between dulcified and sample plantation and using linear projection the 40 year old growth uh, here on the image uh, you see uh, how we grouped trees so we made six different something in, inside each of uh, uh, so uh, location and then we group uh, the results here you have uh, the way we have uh, uh, made the grouping as it was a clonal uh, plantation we have uh, to avoid uh, to take uh, two trees who are sim too similar as an example here you can see uh, when it's the same uh, clone it's uh, they are really similar and uh, also we avoid to uh, take uh, of course a group where there is a tree well so the first gain is uh, that uh, pruning is finished earlier here you have uh, the this uh, line is uh, eight 0.5 meters we estimated that uh, the pruning is finished and uh, in blue you have an example of a uh, undensified uh, uh, plantation with uh, the standard which is uh, densified seen in red so it's just an example of Bergerac but it's the same in each every uh, every uh, plantation and every uh, every uh, sample simulation you have uh, this early earlier pruning pruning uh, there is far more uh, total 15 year wood volume uh, for five meter trunk for the densifying sequence sequence reference whatever the test here you have uh, this densified scene uh, reference, and you can see that uh, well, uh, all the all the simulation around the mean are far from this uh, result of the densified scene. Uh, uh, so uh, standard. Here you have two examples here, but it's the same for all the. To uh, summarize, uh, you have have uh, here all the plots uh, hold the plots excuse me all the locations from uh, the least growing to the uh, best growing plantation in Avracourt and uh, the different colors are the well, quality of uh, the, um, the the trunk the best quality is uh, a, A, and uh, as you can see, uh, the the best results is obtained on the R category. You can only improve uh, from the undensified to the densified uh, sample samples. Here, it's another way to uh, show the result, and uh, you have uh, the same uh, list of uh, tests. Uh, here you have the mean uh, review in blue and uh, the maximum revenue when you densify your plantation, uh, you densify and uh, here it's expressed in uh, percentages. So what's the conclusion is that uh, when you densify you have no replanting. This point has not uh, be uh, it's difficult to um, uh, to put numbers, but it uh, it costs. You will have less pruning years on a, a earlier crop, and for the minus, of course, you have it costs uh, more uh, uh, at the beginning. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Frederic. So we have questions from uh, one member of our scientific board, uh, Phil Aravanopoulos. So 
Uh, so he's coming. Yes, so I, he's I'm, coming. A, I'm a currently uh, uh, looking. Yeah, yeah, but he will uh, uh, present uh, the question also uh, directly himself when, yes, he is coming. Yes, here he is. No, uh, so thank you, uh, Phil, but uh, I just uh, look at uh, the question. That would be clear for me. Uh, you mentioned selection of the very best tree as a sitting edge. Ah, the parliament. Yes, okay. Yeah. So why did we uh, uh, try to do that? Frédéric, Frédéric, I'm sorry. I would like Phil to repeat his question because in sure. the room, okay. Okay. I do not display yeah, the yeah, written so repeat so I think nobody understood the question. Okay, uh, bonjour. Okay. Um, uh, it's a very nice talk, uh, Frédéric. Uh, I have a couple of questions. Uh, the first is you mentioned at the beginning that you are uh, selecting the very best trees at the nursery stage. So I was wondering uh, how the selection is done simply on height. And also if you have an idea about the genetic, uh, uh, the juvenile mature correlation. So do the traits that you select at an early stage uh, manifest themselves later on? Yes. So why did we um, try to do that? It's because uh, I've uh, looked at the literature and there have been numerous studies in the past uh, with the selection of very uh, good uh, individual in nursery and then looking at them uh, later in forest. And it was very clear that uh, generally it, uh, on the far, really uh, generally it, uh, it worked. And uh, well, of course, it will, it's not the same species as the ones we are studying. So that's why we put standards just to be sure that uh, well, we can compare and uh, well, have a conclusion. And if uh, it doesn't work, that would be only a, a, so a conservation uh, uh, test or not a seed or curve test. I've already uh, uh, I've already written uh, with, um, uh, the documents for future homologation in, uh, of these varieties. So I know uh, I have to, to show that uh, the best trees are really the best trees. And uh, how I uh, select? Well, it's uh, first we, we look at the higher plants and then I look uh, in the um, if they are uh, bigger than uh, neighbors. And of course, uh, if the form is not good, uh, I don't uh, use them. So that's, uh, that's how, how we do. Any idea? So second question, Phil? It seems that the connection of Phil has been interrupted uh, uh, for uh, Okay, no, no problem. Yes. So I will just uh, I will read the question. Any idea about the diversity of an orchid uh, gives a chain of establishment this versus the diversity you of using seeds selected from elite in nature? Well, I have uh, no idea. Ah, of this diversity of an orchid. Oh, yes, I have. Uh, generally, uh, an orchard can uh, give a better diversity because in a, pl in a, uh, um, a stand in forest, you, you may have some uh, inbreeding when crossing. But when you build a seed orchard, you manage things so that individuals are not uh, relatives. So that's why, uh, and also because you take uh, material from very various places, the most you can. So it's better for diversity. Thank you, Frédéric. Uh, is there a, a question in the, no, in the room? We don't have so many uh, tree specialists in the room. <laughs> so, no problem. <laughs> But I guess there could be also some microorganisms associated with the uh, tree roots, but it is uh, maybe another. So Anne-Françoise, yes. So we have a question. Ah, Phil is back. Okay. <laughs> so, Anne-Françoise from the room, you can come here, please. Yeah. 
uh, it is related to uh, the, the former talk. And, and so the selection you are doing is mostly uh, about uh, wood production, right? And so I was thinking, you know, Wait, if yes, you are, of course, yes. If you are developing agro agroforestry for other type of production, I was guessing for animals. Ah, funny, funny. Okay, uh, most of them people say that. Uh, uh, yes, I see. I see. I see the idea. Uh, so uh, very often people um well, I afraid when I speak about um, where it goes on wood production but if you want to have uh, some uh, uh, other um, uh, well uh, ecosystematic ecosystemic um, uh, services you have to be, to have a trees who go who ad who adapt to the soil and etc so the main objective of those is for everybody for every purpose and secondly i have a, i've described here only one part of my work and i have other uh, other ideas and developing you know, to um for for people to uh, to select uh, trees uh, in their fields uh, for other purposes so i cannot develop the here yeah, it's too long but I, I had this idea, and also when I, for future future um, uh, species, I have um, and probably I will I will have to select the uh, China species and uh, with a special focus of production on uh, pollen. But one of the main objective will be to have growth because without growth you have no pollen. Thank you. Thank you, Frédéric. So I do not see any other question. So, but we are on time, I, I think. So thank you very much for your presentation. And so we are willing to hear more about the balance between wood and leaves and uh, services <laughs> so that we can have the trees uh, inside the global uh, system. So uh, thank you very much.